Men, 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 you love your wife, it's yourself you're looking after. Okay. Left hand. Left hand. Left hand. Where is your madam? Does your girl love you? Yes, he does. How do you know? Because he could have loved you last week. This is the beginning of a new week. How do you know he's still, the love is still there today? He shows it. How did he show it this morning? You are so sure this morning. He hasn't said anything. He has been worshipping God, not you. He hasn't said anything to you this morning. I know that love can be communicated with words. But there are so many ways to communicate it without words. How do you know? This morning he was trying to boil water for me to bath. <laughs> Give me a high five. You boiled water for her this morning. I, I sent my people around me to boil water for her. Good guy. Any request you make today will be answered. The day your prayer is not answered is the day you cause trouble for your spouse. A lot of you don't know that too. Especially women who like to pray a lot. You create one wahala, the other person is annoyed and you are in your room praying. You're wasting your time. Huh? Just go and say sorry and the prayer will go to heaven. Don't say sorry. It will be smelling around you like shit. First Peter chapter 3, verse 7. There is a pattern I've seen in all the scriptures that address couples. For some unknown reason, they will talk to the woman first about her role to submit and respect her husband. After that, they talk to the man. So likewise, you husband dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel, as being heirs together of the grace of life, that what will happen? That you pray. Give me another translation. I want them to see what it means. You are heirs together of the grace of life. I want you to notice that. It means the two are joined heirs. So when you are praying, she is disagreeing. The bank will not pay you. There is joint account when you got married. Heaven relates to you as a joint account. If she concurs, heaven pays immediately. If she is in disagreement, especially because of my treatment, suspended, no transaction. Let me, in the same manner, you married men should live considerably with your wives with an intelligent recognition of the marriage relation, honoring the woman as the weaker. But realizing that you are what? Join it. What? Single, you just have your single account, personal account with God, no problem. Married, joint account. Because where there's joint account and they require the two signatory, if you do only one, no, do you want to steal? The bank will not recognize it. That's what is going on with the bank of heaven. Join heirs of the grace of God and the grace of life too in order that your prayers may not be hindered or cut off. Otherwise, you cannot pray effectively. The person you marry can mess up your faith too. But it's just one small thing. I'm sorry. Reconcile. That's all. Some people will leave it and go and be fasting. The fasting is ineffective. Let me put this, put it this way. I think the, between giving and forgiving, forgiving comes before giving. Giving without forgiving cancels giving. If you're sowing seed and you're not getting breakthrough, you can now know what is the problem. Forgiving comes before giving. That's reconciliation. Love is more important than money as far as God is concerned. In his priority, working in love is higher than giving God money. There's something called weightier matters of the law. 
He said, you pay tight of cumin, tight of everything, but you ignore the weightier matters. Go and sort that one out first, according to him, then come and take care of the second one. Don't leave the other one undone. That's what Jesus said. Do you want to show it to them? Matthew 23, 23. Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites. You pay tight of mint, anise, cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These you ought to have done. Watch Jesus. And not to leave the other undone. He didn't say stop tight, you know. Did you see that statement? He said, but something comes before the giving life. Okay, I need to show it to you again. Maybe with, with this one you will get it. Go to Matthew chapter 5. If you bring your gift to the altar, your sacrifice to the altar, And there, remember that your brother or your husband or your wife has something against you. Leave that sacrifice at the altar. Go and reconcile. Then you can come and give it. Therefore, if you bring a gift to the altar and there remembers that your brother has something against you, leave there your gift before the altar. He didn't say put the money back in your pocket. Leave it there. He didn't say, uh, okay, uh, we have been fighting. So throughout this period, why we are fighting or in the house? No giving of offering or tithing. No, that's not what he said. He said, drop it there. But heaven will not recognize it till you go and reconcile. The withdrawal is where you're going to have problem. You can't. I hope you know in joint account where you have two signatories for withdrawal. And that's the mandate. You know, you can have two signatories and they say you can withdraw independently. Hmm? In marriage, you can withdraw independently. But once there is disagreement, the bank stops your withdrawal. Leave there your gift before the altar. Go your way. First be reconciled to your brother. Then come and offer the gift. If not, the church will collect the money. Heaven, the account of heaven, no response. This thing is messing up a lot of people. Oh, how many of you will say, it is helpful. This thing is helping me. Let me see your hand. So do you see, look at, look at the multitude. You see the amount of issues being tackled. So people say, I sowed that seed. I gave honor. Ah, I even did sacrifice. Nothing is happening. Yeah. Love is weightier matter. Justice is weightier matter. Did you see when you were listing justice? He mentioned judgment first. That's justice. Second one, mercy. That's compassion. Love is weightier matter. Mercy, forgiving people is weightier matter of the law. The same thing with faith. So, God said, this you ought to do first and not leave the other undone. If you look at this scripture in Matthew, you see that forgiving or reconciliation or walking in love comes before giving. Leave your gift. Go and settle the first thing first. 